fuck off that for you, cause. But Misha was out there. She was messing with uh the dude uh from EPMD. That's why Puff first Puff first beat her ass. While we in it, let's talk about those stories that Misha Hilton posted about Diddy that one time she was mad at him. I'm not protecting anyone anymore, just my son. Everyone has to sit around for years and act like there isn't anything wrong with you. This is where the buck stops for me, one honey. She was pissed. Y'all, it looks like we're about to see the fall of Diddy. And I'm not lying to you because more and more people are starting to come out to expose his terrible behavior. It has been a very long week for Diddy because his bad behavior is finally being exposed for the world to see and it's crazy. If y'all thought that him putting hands on Cassie was horrible, well it's about to get way worse up because his ex-girlfriend and baby mama Misa Hilton is now coming out to reveal that Diddy treated her the exact same way that he did Cassie. Even more, Misa is now coming out with a lawsuit of her own that promises to be more explosive than Cassie's because she is about to spill the tea about how Diddy not only hurt her when they were together, but he also put hands on their child as well. Misa is not here to play and it looks like Diddy is finally about to go down. Now, in case y'all missed the tea, Cassie's recent lawsuit against Diddy was the very first time that Diddy has been exposed on a large scale like this. I mean, sure, there have been talks and rumors about how Diddy is a bad guy who takes out his ops and all that stuff, but that has only been rumors since there has never been a lawsuit or even someone coming out to make the allegations boldly. Well, Cassie changed all of that with her explosive lawsuit that she dropped last week. She became the first person to boldly step out and expose Diddy. And listen, she did Diddy hard with this lawsuit. She went into detail about how badly Diddy used to treat her when they were together. She revealed some horrifying things, like the part where she said that he essayed Miss Ventura in her own home after she tried to leave him, often punched, kicked, and stumped on Miss Ventura, resulting in bruises, burst slips, black eyes, and bleeding, forced Miss Ventura to engage in intimate acts with male SWs while getting off on it and filming the encounters, demanded that Miss Ventura to carry his firearm in her purse just to make her uncomfortable and demonstrate how dangerous he is and introduce Miss Ventura to a lifestyle of excessive alcohol and substance abuse and required her to procure illicit prescriptions to satisfy his own addictions. But that's not all because she then went in to reveal that he also used to put hands on her a lot and listed all the different occasions like the time they were on their way home from attending a Jay-Z party. Mr. Combs beat Miss Ventura repeatedly in an escalade including by kicking and hitting her. He forced her out of the vehicle on Fifth Avenue in New York City. She was eventually able to hail a cab to get into her apartment in Manhattan. There's also the time when Cassie spoke to a music manager in a club without Diddy's permission and he was furious. The conversation was nothing serious, just a casual conversation in a club. But Diddy got so mad that when they left the club, Mr. Combs beat Miss Ventura, pushing her into a corner of the vehicle and stumping on her face. When the car arrived at Mr. Combs' residence, Miss Ventura attempted to run away, but Mr. Combs followed her and proceeded again to kick her in the face. Miss Ventura was bleeding profusely and was ushered into Mr. Combs' home where she began to throw up from the incident. She revealed that he often left her with bruises and cuts all over her body, but he wasn't exactly apologetic for his behavior. And it seemed like he was always terrified that someone would figure out what he was doing to her. So he usually forbade her from going outside after he put hands on her. Instead, he would have her stay at a fancy hotel where she wouldn't be seen by anyone, not even by the hotel workers. And this explains why he managed to go on for years without anyone figuring out what he was doing to her. But it gets way worse because his beatings and the frequent drugs that he forced on her soon started to take her toll on her body, which isn't surprising. She revealed in the lawsuit that she started to experience memory loss and had to have an MRI. And Diddy was so paranoid that the results would reveal that the memory loss was caused by something he did to her. So he had the hospital send her test results directly to his email, which should have certainly raised a few red flags. There was also the part where Cassie revealed that Diddy used to force her to sleep with male escorts because he got off on it. He would force her to go on to escort websites and hire black men with BBCs and then force her to partake in what he called freak offs that were so extreme and lasted for days even though she never wanted to do them. The lawsuit claimed that Cassie didn't want to partake in the FOs but Diddy would give her so much drugs until her resistance basically vanished. Mr. Combs always supplied Miss Ventura with copious amounts of drugs before and during the FOs. Miss Ventura was given ecstasy, cocaine, G 
THB, ketamine, marijuana, and alcohol in excessive amounts during FOs, which allowed her to disassociate during these horrific encounters. It became commonplace to get IV fluids in the days after an FO to recover from the excessive substances pushed upon her. There were lots more shocking things that were spilled in the lawsuit, and of course, Didiana's lawyers denied the allegations. They said, he vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations. Miss Ventura's demand of $30 million under the threat of writing a damaging book about the relationship was unequivocally rejected as blatant blackmail. Despite withdrawing her initial threat, Miss Ventura has now resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies, aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation and seeking a payday. But he eventually chose to settle in just a day, and that alone made him look guilty as F. He had Cassie sign an ironclad NDA so she could no longer speak on the issue, but we didn't sign an NDA so we could talk about it as much as we like. When it turns out, Diddy's other side pieces didn't sign an NDA either, and his ex-girlfriend Misa Hilton is now also speaking up and revealing that Diddy put her through the same things that he put Cassie through. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really even that surprised that Cassie isn't the only woman that Diddy treated like that, because him being that cruel could only mean that he had done it over and over again. His side piece, Gina Hewen, even revealed a couple of years ago that Diddy used to put hands on her too. In the beginning, like the first three and a half years, he was, I mean, like the first three months, three, four months, he was really nice, but then after that, he was, he started being an asshole. So like I say, like the first three and a half years, he was like mean to me. So when you say mean, describe it. Um, he was a b he was like always belittling me and always like, he, I just, he was like mentally, emotionally, and physically a b in me. His bodyguard, Jean, has also spoken about how Diddy used to put hands on Kim Porter so badly to the point where she finally started fighting back and defending herself. One night uh, when they were at, at home, at Kim's house on 110th Street, he wanted to, you know, put his hands on her in the wrong way. And Kim took one of those court screws and ripped his wrist up and hit an artery. And when she did that, he had to rush over to St. Luke's Hospital. So with all this, it isn't too wild to imagine that he has done the same thing to Misa, especially since his bodyguard, Gene, has also backed up this story. What that for you? Cause well, Misa was out there. She was messing with uh, the dude uh, from EPMD. That's why I call first now before we get into Misa's story and her lawsuit, let me remind you that Misa has also called Diddy out for not only being horrible to her, but also mistreating their son Justin, just because he and Misa have their issues. Back in June, Misa slammed him on Instagram writing, I'm not with none of that reality TV-ish. When is enough enough? I'm not protecting no one anymore, just my son and all the children. I love a come to Jesus moment. The statement of fish rots from the head down means that, in addition to being a major contribution factor in a family organization's success, leadership is the root cause of its failure and demise. The truth shall set you free. She continued, act bad, bad boy. I used to want to be a bad girl, but I chose to be a queen, tried and true. I'm not perfect, but I am intentional. I should have kept my child with me. So this is kind of cryptic, but it was kind of sounding like Diddy was either putting hands on their son like he used to do to her, or he was using their son against her. Either way, it was something really, really messed up because Misa is not really the type to chase cloud or start drama over anything. She also said, everyone has to sit around for years and act like there isn't anything wrong with you. This is where the buck stops for me. If anything ever happened to my son, God forbid, what is anyone going to say to me when we all know whose fault it would be? Listen, Misa was big mad, but again, I can't really blame her, especially with the revelations that she is now making. According to an insider, Misa is now speaking out for the first time about how Diddy treated her when they were together. She allegedly claimed that Diddy used to put hands on her and slap her around, even when she was pregnant with their son. The insider claimed that Misa allegedly revealed that Diddy SA'd her repeatedly when they were together. There was no mention of freak offs, but that's probably something that Diddy started somewhere else down the line. Now, the streets are saying that Diddy is trying to come to a settlement agreement with Misa before she officially files in court because he knows that his reputation is hanging on by a thread right now. There's no way that he would be able to 
survive another DV scandal so soon after the Cassie incident. The interesting thing about this is that it looks like several corporations are aware of this up and coming lawsuit because they are starting to drop Diddy like a hot potato. Macy's was the first to announce that they would no longer be carrying Diddy's line, Sean John. They released a statement via Radar Online that said, as a part of our ongoing review of our brand portfolio, the Sean John collection has started to phase out of assortment since early fall 2023. Diddy's products are being removed and won't be available on the site. It's the course of business. Retail stores are always evaluating and deciding what's relevant to consumers. But that's not all because the company Diego, which produces the vodka, Ciroc, and Deli Young, has also filed to officially remove Diddy as their spokesman because of the new allegations. They said, the new public and disturbing accusations against him risk devastating and permanent damage to the tequila brand. Yeah, so it looks like Misa's lawsuit is going to be the final straw that's going to take Diddy down for good. And people don't even feel bad for him because they feel like he has had this coming for a long time. Fans love comments saying, child, Mr. Diddy is going down. Can't name change your way out of this one. Surviving P. Diddy will be interesting. He will account for all his homies and his ex that died from heart attack and etc. The real devil is finally going down. Law, forgive me, but I've never been so tuned into a man going down. Whatever they say that he did, he did that ish. Finally. And Misa Hilton already popped out ready to spill on Diddy a few months back. It's up for that man. Y'all, this is an insanely messy situation. But what do you guys think? Is Misa really gonna go ahead with the lawsuit or do you think that Diddy is gonna manage to pay her off too? Let me know what you think in the comments and then check out this next video.